Why play Zig support? Well, he deals massive AoE damage, he brings great disengage, he's a good lane bully, and he quickly destroys objectives. However, he is very squishy if he gets caught out, and he doesn't bring as much utility as other supports. Ziggs's passive is periodically his next basic attack is empowered to deal bonus damage, and this bonus damage is massively increased against structures, and the cooldown of this is reduced every time Ziggs uses an ability. Ziggs's Q throws a circle on the floor, and if it doesn't hit an enemy, it will bounce up to two more times. After it's bounced twice or after it hits an enemy, it deals damage to nearby enemies. Ziggs's W places a circle on the floor which will stay there for 4 seconds. After 4 seconds, or when this is detonated, enemies within the circle take damage and are knocked back. If Ziggs was inside the circle, he instead dashes a large distance away from the center. Also, if a turret is on low health, this can be thrown underneath it to destroy it instantly. Ziggs's E places down a cluster of mines on the floor which lasts for 10 seconds. Enemies who get hit by this or walk through it take damage and are slowed. If they walk over multiple mines, they take reduced damage from subsequent mines. Ziggs's ultimate is a very long range ability which throws out a massive circle on the floor and a bomb goes towards it. When the bomb reaches the circle it deals damage to all enemies within and enemies within the center take massively increased damage. For combos, your go to is to attack into Q, E and W before detonating W and attacking away. And your all in combo is to attack into Q, E, W and ult. Once ult explodes, detonate your W and then attack away. For matchups, he's great into engaged support, easily knocking himself and them away with W while making them walk through his mines, and he can struggle against some of the longer range bullies. For runes take this, Comet is great extra damage. For build order, start World Atlas and Pot into Ludens, Tier 2 Boots and upgrade to a Zazax. After this, a Leandris and Hat are amazing pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E then W before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells take Flash and Heal. Teleport also works surprisingly well to quickly rotate and destroy objectives. For synergies, he works great with other long range bot laners who can constantly throw stuff at their enemies. Starting the game, your objective is to poke hard and zone your opponent. You have such long range, your opponent has to respect being constantly harassed by your Qs. Especially after you have a lost chapter, you can simply spam this ability off cooldown. And if your opponent ever walks through their own minion wave, it's free damage. With a Zig support, your objective is to get tower plate and first tower if possible. With all of your AoE abilities, you'll often be the one pushing the wave. So keep up good wards and save your W and E to protect yourself from any ganks. Constantly use your high empowered auto attacks into the tower for massive damage, and once it gets low enough use your W to destroy it getting a massive amount of gold for you and your carry. Enter in the mid game, destroy your tower as soon as possible and rotate mid to get down another tower. You're also amazing at securing objectives as if the enemy wants to challenge they have to walk through your E and W. Entering late game team fights, play as the backline mage. When enemies group together simply throw out all your buttons to deal tons of damage, otherwise spam Q and use E and W to protect yourself. And that's how to play Zig support, if this video helped you leave a like and comment below who you want to see next.